Hi everyone, my name is Angela from Angela Stitches. So I'm starting a new vlog right away. I just uploaded my last vlog and I'm going to start beading now. So this is what it's going to look like with all of the beads done and also Santa's beard and mustache. But one thing I noticed, um, this chart tells you in which direction the beads should lay on your piece. So I usually have it diagonally, but here these beads are laying horizontally compared to the other diagonal beads. So here in the chart, it tells you which floss to use, but also the stitch itself. So it says dark red half cross stitch. So that's the diagonal ones. And then there's green slash cross stitch, which is the horizontal direction. And it goes on like that. So I think that's really cool that it tells you in which direction to stitch your beads on. So I'm going to follow that and start beading. I'm not sure if I'll be finishing this tonight, but maybe like half of it. So I only got two of the colors stitched, so the red and the green. And these are in two different stitches, so these red ones are in diagonal orientation, which what I usually do with beading. But these petite green ones are laying straight in a horizontal direction. So that's really fun to do. I really like beading, so this is actually a lot of fun for me. And I recently showed how to bead in one of my stitching vlog videos, so I'll link that in the video description um, if you want to know how to stitch beads in different directions. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out. But I was using my box, um, but it was kind of hard to bead directly from this container, so I'm using my wooden tray to just pour some out and bead. But... Yeah, so this is really fun, but I don't know if I'll stitch more tonight because I'm in the middle of making sourdough. So I got something in the mail from Margarita. She sends me really pretty things pretty often and I'm super excited but I'm also really excited about these stamps because my dad and I collect stamps or used to but people really don't use stamps anymore so this is really exciting. So I'm gonna give these to my dad. Um, I don't think we have that many from Europe. We have some but not a lot so I think he'll be super happy with these. So I'm just going to be really careful not to cut those and also nothing inside. So usually Margarita sends me heaps of fabrics and trims and boxes but this is a little different it feels like there's a book inside which i'm really curious to see um so let me just get this open first wow there's a lot of beads inside but i'm gonna read this first but let me just take everything out of the bag oh so yeah these are books um and i think i know what this is that's really cool but i just want to um, read the note from margarita first before i look at anything else I was trying to open this, but I don't want to rip it, so I'm just going to use my cutter to open this really carefully because I see some really pretty patterns inside the envelope. So see, I just want to show you the inside. It has these really pretty patterns. So 
so I'm gonna keep that but I'm gonna read the note off camera oh thank you that's very sweet so she thought I could use some of these in my projects like the beads and yeah I use a lot of a lot of the things that she sent me in finishing so yeah I'm sure I'll be using a lot of the beads here so I think I want to start with the beads and this is packaged really well so there's a lot of them in here and she said I think these were from her stash because she does embroidery work um, she sent me all kinds of colors and these are really pretty but yeah I don't think well by the packaging there are two mill hills but when I work on my projects I don't always get the comb for beads if I want to change like the color or the size of it um, I just use whatever I can find that looks like it goes well with the project so these will be really nice to have on hand when I want to do I want to do conversions not only beads but I can also change out the DMC to one of these beads so this is a really nice collection of beads to have so yeah these are really pretty too these are like opalescent and I have a couple of these whites but these are actually more matte than the ones that I have so this will be a nice textured ones so that's really cool and she also sent me some needles too these are looks like beading needles but I can't see the holes so it's oh I see it so these are really tiny so I think these will be great for beading and I'm also planning on doing more Mirabilia's and Lavender and Lace projects next year and I might change some of the colors I might not follow the chart exactly so I think these will be super useful in doing conversions so yeah thank you again so much for sending me these I really appreciate it and these are Mel Hill Petite Beads so these will be great on 40 count projects so yeah super pretty and then I can tell this is blackbird designs oh it says it right in the middle and I only have like one or two of their patterns and always wanted to get more so this is really cool I'll do a flip through in a different video if you want to see the inside so let me know but I really like their designs it's very primitive and I don't know it feels very cozy if that makes sense but real quick this pin keep I think this is so cute with the box and the ribbon I think it's really pretty and then this was in the cover this pillow I think I just love the colors in these so maybe I'll start some of these in January so let me know if you want to see a flip through of this maybe I'll do a flip through with my other blackbird designs chart I only have one or two maybe and I don't think I've showed that before in my videos anyways so let me know and I think this is another book with some red work well this is this has cross stitches too oh I really like this one with pockets so that you can keep your things in it but this is still packaged with shrinking wrap so if you want to see a flip through of this too let me know but yeah I think these are some of the things that I could start in February and then this oh wow um, I don't use anchor but this is all of the anchor floss oh so pretty I, re I really wanted to get the DMC one but I could never find those so this is really nice because you can find the anchor and DMC conversions online so wow this is super pretty so yeah let me know if you want to see a flip through and I'll do that in one of my videos and yeah Margarita thank you so much for sending me all of this really nice things I really appreciate your generosity and kindness and also these are some of the things that's really hard to get where I live so this is super special and I actually this is funny I actually went to Daiso today to get more containers to organize my Mill Hill projects because this is the only one that I had and I have two more Mill Hill projects to kit so and I also got an extra box so I'm gonna use one of these boxes to organize these beads and also when I was at Daiso today I went to see if they had more ribbons and they did and I got this one and it was so perfect because for a dollar it came with these three colors that I needed for my Bryce Tree ornaments and the shades are perfect um, it matches so well so I'm super happy I found this and then I also got another one with these sets um, so this one and I thought this will be perfect to finish my Santa's it's kind of dark and brown so maybe I'll try using these to finish my Santa's end of this month and I was going to mention this when I get it but one of my subscribers um, she surprised me with a gift card to 123 stitch the other week she's also one of my subscribers who emails me once in a while and we talked about cross stitching and about 
Brooks books and um, memory threads. And she sent me a 123 Stitch gift card and said thank you for the videos and helping with the memory threads and stuff. And I said I wanted to get Mirabilia's in one of my videos before. And she said maybe it'll help to get the charts. So I just wanted to say thank you again. It really was like Christmas. Um, today too with Margarita's gift. And we don't really celebrate Christmas anymore so it really was like an early Christmas gift. But I actually didn't get a Mirabilia. Instead, I got some other charts because I could pretty easily get Mirabilias here. I think it's pretty popular in Korea as well. So most cross-stitching stores, well, the online websites have them. They carry almost all of them. And the price is very similar, but like the Mel Hill kits and other things are almost impossible to get. It's like double or triple the price. So I couldn't justify getting a Mel Hill kit from Korea. So instead, I ordered things that I couldn't get here. Um, I thought that would be more cost-effective. So I hope that's okay with you, Gabriela. But I will get the mirrors here that I was planning on getting. So I'll share those once I receive them. But yeah, I think it's already on its way, so super excited about those. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, it really made my day. I'm working on beading and this is going really well, super fun. I finished the raccoon, my favorite part, but I also have one of my cookies and I added like half the sugar what the recipe was called for. Well, one quarter because I used stevia or stevia. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but so it's more like a biscuit than a cookie, but I kind of like that. And also sparkling water because I'm trying not to consume too much sugar anymore. So. But yeah, so I think I'm going to try to finish this tonight. So before I had this ribbon, I wasn't going to add anything and keep it super simple, but I think I will make a bow with these, but it's like really cheap stiff material, so I don't know how well the bow will turn out, but I'm still gonna try and I think it looks pretty cute um, paired with the hanger, which is this darker color. I think it'll look really cute. So I'm gonna do that and last night I finished my Santa. The beading and also his beard and mustache and i think it looks really good um it's not laying flat but i think it looks okay so i'm going to ffo this later this month into an ornament so i'll show you how i do that in my other videos in the future but now that i got that finished my next perforated paper project will be my snow angel by brooks books and i want to finish this this month so i'm gonna start working on this too because this has a lot to go still. So I'm gonna work on that. And yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I didn't work on anything else yet, but I think today I'll work on my mystery cell because I haven't worked on that for two days, I think. Seems like a long time.
So I think I'm done stitching for tonight, but I just stitched this section in here. So this is like a giant snowflake kind of, so I still need to do three more of these, two more of these, and three more of these, and then this will be done. But this is taking a lot longer than I expected it to or wanted it to, but that's fine. But right now, instead of stitching, I think I'll start cutting this up or one of these tonight. And that means I'm just going to organize the beads that are inside this kit and the floss. But I haven't decided which one yet. But maybe Jamaica Santa. Because I really like the whales Santa, but every time I look at, look at that one, I'm a little bitter. Because I really want the Scotland Santa and it's always sold out. So I guess I'll start the Jamaica Santa first, but I really like the whale Santa too. But anyways, I'm going to use this container for the beads. And I'm just going to get this ready to go and start it in a different day. So yeah, I'm just gonna organize the stuff inside. And then I went to the store and got these earlier. And I know I said I'm not, I'm trying not to eat too much sugar anymore, but this, is, this was really good. So, and they also had this one, which is cookies and mint. And I just wanted to try it because my favorite ice cream is mint chocolate chip. So yeah, I'm not going to binge them all tonight, so it should be fine. So I'm working on my mystery cell and I just finished the center piece of the snowflake. And I didn't even look at the chart that much because it was just the same thing times three. And it's very geometric. So I had this as a reference because I already did that. So I just mirrored image each section. And yeah, I didn't really have to look at the chart. So this was stitched within like an hour, I think. So super happy with that progress. I could go on and just finish this whole thing tonight. But I actually wanted to work on some ornaments. So I stopped and started making some bows. So this is one of my ornaments that I'm working on. And this is the ribbon that I'm going to use. And I actually made this bow with it. And this ribbon is so stiff that it creases really well. But yeah, so this is the bow and I think... So I have this folded like this, but I think I'm going to extend this just a bit so that the bow doesn't cover the stitching as much. So later when I finish, I'm going to add the bow up here. And for the hanger, I'm going to use this. I'll just pin it for now just to show you what this will look like. But I think it looks cute. But the bow looks really washed out against the stitched piece and the fabric. So I made a smaller bow. So let me show you what that looks like. And I just added a pin here to hide my threads to make this bow. I just had a whole box of this. So I decided to use these pins. And I think it's a nice touch to the bows. So this is what it looks like with the darker, smaller bow. And I actually like this too, color-wise. Overall, I think this looks a lot better than the lighter pink one. Or maybe I could use this for the hanger. I don't know, I can't decide. Or with this? Hmm. I think I'll make two more bows with the yellow and the blue and see how that looks. Um, usually, I know pretty early on about what I want to do. And I don't really have issues deciding, but I think I'm a little pressured because I want all 12 projects to look cohesive. So I think I'll try making two more bows and see what that looks like against the other projects. And I think I'll make a bow too with these and add them with the hanger when I finish my Santas into ornaments. I just really like these colors and I think the red looks really nice. But brown would look pretty too, I think. And oh, and speaking of Santas, I finished organizing my floss for Jamaica Santa. And these are all of the colors and I think it's really pretty. This one was a little difficult to organize though, but thankfully the chart indicated which color had two strands opposed to the ones with just one strand. So that was really helpful to organize this project. So this is Jamaica Santa, and this also has the brown perforated paper. But yeah, this project didn't seem like it had this many colors, but apparently it does. So yeah, and then these are the beads, and I used my new container. And this can come apart like this, and I've used containers like this before where it stacks or clips on to each other. But sometimes it's loose or it doesn't fit very well to each other, but this feels like um, when it clips on to each other, or actually it slides on to each other. Um, it feels like it's on there, like it's not going to go anywhere. So for a dollar, I think this is really nice. 
and also I can just keep them in groups for different projects so I thought that was really nice so yeah I think I'm going to start this next Monday or this Sunday but these Santas are so fun to stitch and super cute um, and really fast so I'm definitely going to collect more of them and so yeah right now I should work on my mystery cell but I think I'm going to make some bows because I really want to start finishing some ornaments and I have 12 to make so yeah but if I want to work on something maybe I'll work on my snow angel because this is pretty easy to work on but yeah I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about tonight so I hope you like this video as well and let me know if there's something that you want me to talk about or show in my videos and I'll try to do that in my next one so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video